Praise the Lord and thank you for being with me. Thank you for being with me for message 162. Message 162. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Hello, my friends. It's good to see you again. <laughs> hey, hope George is there. Coretta. I once knew a girl named Coretta. I hope you're there, Coretta, too. John, I hope you're there. Mrs. Horkin and all my friends, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord together. Worship the Lord together. Let's pray. Oh, Lord God, I thank you. I just thank you for your presence with us, oh, Lord God, that you are with us, the eternal God that created this universe, that you be here in this place with us. We thank you for it. May we bless you, oh, Lord God, as we know your presence with us, Lord God. Encourage us in your word. Help us to see your truth in your word. And may we praise you in song and in prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's lift your hands, lift your eyes, whatever you can lift to the heavens and say, Alleluia! Praise God the Father, our Heavenly Father. Alleluia! Praise God the Son, Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, the King of kings and Lord of lords, the risen Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Alleluia! Praise God the Holy Spirit, my counselor and comforter, Hallelujah. And Lord, let's say the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Pray to our Heavenly Father. Let's pray. Bow your head and close your eyes, please. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. In Psalms 23, Jesus is our good shepherd. He is our Lord. And recite Psalms 23 with me. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, O Lord God. We have a home in heaven for us when we leave this place home in heaven with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's sing hallelujah and hallelujah means praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. You all praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Lord. Hallelujah Lord.
more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Our God. Praise you, O oh Lord God. You know, after Jesus was crucified on the cross to pay the penalty for our sins, Jesus died in our place. Died the death we deserve for our sins. And uh, after he did that, after he paid the penalty for our sins, was crucified, dead, buried, he rose from the dead. And he appeared to his disciples over a period of 40 days. He appeared to many people. Over 500 people he appeared to Jesus after he rose from the dead. And it's, uh, this keeps sticking in my mind, how uh, Jesus appeared uh, to Thomas, his disciple Thomas, and, uh, he's, and after Thomas put his fingers into the nail marks that were created in Jesus' hands when he was nailed on that cross, and after Thomas put his hand into the side where the spear was thrust into the side of Jesus, what did Thomas say? He said, the Lord, the God, mine. The Lord, Jesus is the Lord, the God, mine. And after that, he appeared to his disciples more times. And I think at a special time that Jesus appeared to his disciples, he made them breakfast. <laughs> They'd been fishing. They caught nothing. Jesus said, cast the net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. So they cast it out and they hauled in a load, a huge load of fish. And Jesus uh, was recognized then by Peter and he jumps in the water <laughs> and, and he, he swims to Jesus. And, and when uh, Jesus is on the shore, he's... Uh, he created a charcoal fire, it says in, a, this is in John chapter 21, the Gospel of John, recording this incident. Uh, when they got out on the land, when the disciples all got on the, out on the land, after getting out of that boat, and looks like bringing the fish in, they saw a charcoal fire in place with fish laid on, on it. Jesus already had fish for them. In bread, Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them. And so with the fish, this was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. And then Jesus confronts Peter. Remember Peter before uh, the crucifixion of, of Jesus? Peter denied uh, Jesus uh, three times. And God, uh, Jesus foretold that before it ever happened. And then, uh, and then we have this account here where Jesus uh, says to, to Peter, do you love me? And he says it three times to him. And he tells Peter, feed my lambs. And then it's recorded this, John 21, 18. Truly, uh, John, uh, uh, Jesus is saying this to Peter. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were young, you used to dress yourself and walk wherever you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will dress you and carry you where you do not want to go. This he said to show by what kind of death he was to glorify God. And after saying this, he said to him, follow me. And then Peter, sometime after that, recorded his words inspired by the Holy Spirit. G Peter writes this in, his, uh, in his, his writing of the scriptures. 2 Peter and uh, I'm going to start with uh, 2 Peter, verse 3. His divine power. Well, let me start at verse 2. My grace, may grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God 
and of Jesus our Lord. And this is Peter's writing. His divine power, God's divine power, has granted to us everything that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence, by which he has granted to us his precious and very great promises, so that through them you may become partakers of the divine nature. Having escaped from the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desire, for this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue and virtue with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with steadfastness and steadfastness with godliness and godliness with brother, brotherly affection and brotherly affection with love. For if these qualities are yours, and are increasing, they keep you from being ineffective or unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For whoever lacks the, these qualities is, is so nearsighted that he is blind, having forgotten that he was cleansed from his former sins. Therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election, for if you practice these qualities, you will never fail. For in this way, there will be richly provided for you an entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Therefore, I intend always to remind you of these qualities, though you know them and are established in the truth that you have. I think it right, as long as I am in this body, to stir you up by way of reminder, since I know that the putting off of my body will be soon, as our Lord Jesus Christ made clear to me. And I will make every effort so that after my departure you may be able at any time to recall these things. So Peter is saying right here, he's saying, uh, I'll read it again. I think it right, as long as I am, I am in this body, to stir you up by way of reminder, since I know that the putting off of my body will be soon, as our Lord Jesus Christ made clear to me. And Jesus, as I read before, recorded in in the Gospel of John, chapter 20, 21, rather, yeah, that uh, Jesus said to Peter, when you are old, truly, truly, I say to you, when you were young, you used to dress yourself and walk wherever you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will dress you and carry you where you do not want to go. This he said to show by what kind of death he was to glorify God. So Jesus foretold the, the death of, of Peter. And Peter remembered that uh, Jesus had foretold it. And church tradition tells us that Peter was crucified for his faith. He was crucified, but he asked that he be crucified upside down because he was not worthy to be crucified as his Lord was. This just shows how much that Peter believed that Jesus is the Lord, the God, mine, his Lord and Savior. That he, Peter was willing to continue to tell a people that Jesus died on the cross for their sins, was dead, buried, and rose from the dead, and it cost him his life. And it just reminds us of how true that fact is of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. But Jesus is a friend. He is with us as our Lord. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, I 
sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we are then. God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend's Lord in prayer. Are, you, are we weak and heavy laden? Are we weak and heavy laden? Come with a load of care. Precious Savior, still our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. soul is there. Thou will find a soul is there. Let's pray. Lord, I just thank you that you're our Lord. You're our Lord Jesus. You're our friend. And that you've come to live in us through the Holy Spirit. And we're never alone, but we have you with us to be our friend, our Lord, our God, the one who is our shield, our refuge in life, the provider of everything in our life, and that you give us life now and forever with you, that someday, Lord God, we'll be with you face to face in your kingdom that you prepared for us. We thank you and praise you. May we always rejoice in you and sing Alleluia, praise ye the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. with me. God bless you. The Lord is with you. Praise him always. Amen.